When we play back the final mix, there are a couple of things that I want to address with EQ and compression. Let me play for you the final mix without any mastering processing. While the final mix sounds clean, I believe that it sounds a little bit thin and a little bit sibilant. And it's also missing some of that low end body. So let's see if we can enhance that with a Liverpool. Let's go ahead and engage our compressor. And since we know that by keeping the input volume low, it's gonna reduce the harmonic distortion, we're gonna go for a clean signal. So let's see what this sounds like now. Now let's start to apply some compression. You'll notice that without the Liverpool, the music sounds thin, it's missing power and impact. Let's bring down the threshold. So without too much gain reduction on the compressor, we're simply running the signal through its hardware-based tubes. And this is giving us that fullness, giving us depth. It's causing the music to have more impact and sound more interesting. I suggest that if you're using this for a mix bus processor or for mastering, that you start with a slow attack such as we have here at four, and the fast released somewhere around one or two. And if you're not seeing any gain reduction happening on the meters, don't worry about that. Trust your ears and you can feel the difference. <laughs> 